Good afternoon, my dear students. Today we are going to see the first chapter in the science CBSC NCRT syllabus that is crop production and management. Can you say what is the most important occupation in the people of India? I think you know that that is agriculture, right? We are growing the crops and we will sell it, right? So now in this chapter we will see about what are the different types of crops in India and how we are producing it, how we are harvesting and all that all steps we will see in this chapter. So let's see this chapter. So first of all we will see what are crops. Let's think about, you just imagine what are crops. Maybe you have seen agriculture field. Right, paddy field, wheat field and different types of vegetable field. So, same type of either uh, vegetable, fruits or anything. Uh, together we will call it crop. Okay, so the definition of crop is that when plants of the same kind are grown and cultivated at one place on a large scale. It is known as crop. Okay, when plants of same kind, maybe wheat, maybe paddy, Maybe any cereals or anything which is grown together in one place that is known as a crop in a large scale that is known as a crop. So in India we can see different climatic conditions. Suppose different India have different states right. In each state climate will be different. In Kerala one climatic condition will be the in Karnataka, Tamil Nadu like that when different states with different states have different climatic conditions. So depending upon the climatic conditions, we can see different types of crops in each state. So basically the crops are divided into two tariff crops and rabi crops. The tariff crops, this is the tariff crops. The tariff crops are the crops which grown during the rainy season. So that crops need more water. So from the month of June, usually rainy seasons will be from the June to September. So that type of crops is known as the tariff crops. For example, paddy, maize, soybean. So many other crops are the, some examples are paddy, maize and soybean. The next one is rabi crops. So the rabi crops are grown in winter seasons. Okay, so in winter season from October to March. This crops no need of that much water. So this type of crops are known as the rabi crops. So example wheat, pea, mustard and so many other crops are there. So basically the crops are divided into two tariff crops and rabi crops. So several steps are there in the process of crop production. Uh, just when we are seeing the food in front of us, we don't know how much struggles the farmers are taking to make this all crops and so many processes are there. So now we will see one by one what all processes are there during the crop production. So first, first of all, the preparation of the soil. The soil should be prepared by some techniques that we will discuss later. This all First we will see one by one and then we will discuss in detail. Okay, first one is preparation of soil. Okay, second one is soil. Sowing the seed, the good quality seed we will sow on the soil. Okay, then third one adding manure and fertilizers. Then fourth one irrigation. Fifth one protecting from weeds. Sixth one harvesting and seventh one storage. So first one preparation of soil. Then second one sowing of good uh, good yield seeds uh, then third one adding manure and fertilizer so that plants can grow easily nicely mm -hmm. and then fourth one irrigation giving proper water to the plants and fifth one protecting from the weeds weeds means unwanted plants and a sixth one harvesting after when it grown properly we will cut it out and take it that is known as the harvesting and finally storage so these are the steps involved in the basic practice of crop production. Now we will see one by one in detail. So the first step in the crop production is the preparation of the soil. So soil is very important. We must make it 
that suitable so that the seeds can grow properly and healthily okay so we should first of all we should prepare the soil properly then only the plants can grow properly so some points are there now we will see what all things we have to take care while the preparation of soil so why we are um, preparing the soil well, maybe you have seen plowing and all before and all we used to do with this um, bullock carts and all nowadays tractors are there right so when we are doing this we will turn the soil uh, with the help of machines or maybe some i will show in the picture that with the help of the machine we will turn the soil and we will lose it so that the water holding capacity of the soil will increase and air also can go inside so the when the roots are going inside the soil it will get air okay then the microorganism like earthworms and small other microorganism which lives inside the soil also will get air so so many things are there when we are turning the soil tilting the soil okay so when we turn the soil and it we will lose it okay but if it is too thick if it is too thick if we are pouring the water the water will not go inside the air can also air will not be there inside the soil so the microorganisms also cannot live inside the soil okay so first point when we are tilting or loosen the soil first benefit we are getting that this allows the root to penetrate deep deep into the soil this when we are loosen the soil this allow the roots to penetrate deep inside the soil the roots can go easily inside the soil then second point it allows the roots to breathe easily when they go deep inside the soil so air also will get water also will get okay then the loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworm and other microbes present in the soil so when uh, the soil is loosened the air will be the the microorganisms can live they will get proper air okay then last point the turning and loosening of the soil bring the nutrient rich soil to the top so that the plants can use this nutrient when we are turning and tilting it the nutrients will if nutrients are the below the nutrients will come up and nicely it will mixed all around okay so uh, by tilting or loosening the soil we will get air uh, means the soil will get air water and the microorganisms can live properly might if microorganisms are there the soil will become more healthy okay then one more point is that that um, the soil by tilting of the soil the nutrients which is in the below the soil will come outside and it will mixed so these are the benefits we are getting by loosening the soil okay so first point is that we have to prepare the soil that we are doing by a technique that is known as the plowing okay so the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilting or plowing okay so the process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilting or plowing so this is done by using a plow that i will show in picture in a picture next picture so the plow are made up of wood or iron if uh, maybe you have seen the cow uh, we will use bulls to make this plow that uh, that time we will use wood uh, if we are using tractor this is made up of iron so the plow are made up of wood or iron if the soil is very dry first the soil will be very dry so after plowing it may need uh, after water and all we will give it may need water before plowing first Uh, because sometimes after so many seasons the land will be too dry that time the farmers will first water the land then only they will start to plow okay so after plowing the plowing field may have big piece of soil that is known as the crumbs okay uh, that after plowing just they will plow the big piece of soil will be there that is known as crumbs okay it is necessary to break this crumbs with a plank so if the crumbs are there if we are um, sowing the seeds it with the seeds will not grow properly so it should be crushed that is done by plank 
okay the field is level after that the field is level by another machine that is known as the leveler okay so just once again i will tell the process of loosening and turning of soil that is known as tilting or plowing okay this is done by using a plow that machine uh, that is known as the plow p l o u g h plow the plow are made up of wood or iron if the soil is very dry it may need watering before plowing the plowed field may have big piece of soil called crumbs okay that is known as the crumbs it is necessary to break this crumbs with a plank okay then after that the field is leveled uh, for sowing uh, by a leveler okay the crumbs the field is leveled for sowing as by with the help of a leveler now we will see some agricultural implements before sowing the seeds it is necessary to break the soil to the size of grains to get better yield this is done with the help of various tools the main tools used for this purpose are the plow hoe and cultivator so now first we will see what is plow okay first uh, this picture is showing the plow this is been used since ancient times for tilting the soil adding fertilizer to the crop removing the weeds and scraping of soil this implement is made of wood and is drawn by a pair of bulls or other animals like uh, sometimes we will use other than bulls we will use horses camels etc it contains a strong triangular iron strip called plowshare the main part of the plow is a long log of wood which is called the plow shaft there is a handle at one end of the shaft the other end is attached to a beam which is placed on the bull's neck you can see it okay just see it you can see that all things so uh, the handle that is known as the uh, plow shaft and the uh, the uh, long strong triangular iron strip that is known as the plow share okay the one pair of bulls and a man can easily operate the plow okay maybe you have seen in pictures and all one man is handling like that the indigenous wooden plow is increasingly be replaced by iron plows nowadays before it was wood made up of wood now it is replaced by iron next one we will see hoe it is simple tool it is a simple tool maybe you have seen in your home that is uh, used for removing weeds in your garden and all and for loosening the soil it has a long rod of wood or iron a strong broad and bent plate of iron is fixed to one of its end and other part one handle will be the okay uh, one side one wooden stick will be there and one side blade will be there so it will be pulled by the animals or man next is the cultivator so nowadays for plowing is uh, done by tractor nowadays if you are seeing the uh, this one plowing we can see tractors in place of bull and other animals the use of cultivator saves labor and time so this uh, uh, this all are the uh, implements we are using for the preparation of the soil before sowing the seeds after plowing the soil has to be leveled that is done by the uh, one more machine you can see in the picture that is known as the leveler 